Hey there, welcome back to another video. I'm setting up a new shop and it is a wreck. I don't know if you can see much back there, but there is stuff everywhere. I've got to get some organization going, some projects are coming on that. But for now, I thought it would be a good opportunity to throw up some saw horses in the driveway, grab a couple of tools and do a minimal tool build. So I'm gonna do that. I got some leftover material from my friend Nick and I've got some cedar. I'm gonna build some cedar planter boxes so that we can put some fall plants and flowers in the back. So uh, let's get going. Let me show you how I did it. I started off this project by just kind of taking some measurements of the different pieces that I had and then I marked out a few of the first cuts that I needed to make. For most of my cuts, I'm using this large square. It will actually help guide my circular saw right down the line that it needs to cut. For some of the pieces that are a little bit too small, I actually just trace the line by hand and I don't use the square at all because I couldn't really hold the square on there. There wasn't enough of the material. Here's a trick I like to use for referential measurement. So all of these pieces are kind of hard to hold into the box shape that they'll be until I need to start nailing them together. But I need to figure out what this inside end cap piece will be. All you do is take both of your ends. I just stack them up on one side because it's easier. Line them up with the width of one of your box bottoms and then mark your end cap where the edge is and that will give you the exact measurement of the inside of both of those without having to try to put this box together without any nails holding it. I hope that makes sense. Here's a different angle of that same thing I was telling you about. I got both of my side pieces, I lined them up to the edge of my bottom piece and then I took my end cap where I needed to cut it and I marked it at the end of the bottom piece and that way I knew exactly what the two edge pieces would be and I didn't have to measure anything it was all just reference measuring. To put all of these together I'm just using this cordless air nailer it's about 150 bucks and this is an 18 gauge one so really handy to have around and I'm using some waterproof weather resistant glue this is type bond 3 so it's made for outdoor situations it should be more than plenty to hold up for a couple of seasons at least and inevitably I had one brad nail that shot the wrong way and ended up coming out the side no big deal, grab a pair of diagonal cutters and see if you can kind of pry it out of there. This one broke off a couple times, but I was able to pry the rest of it out. All right, the bulk of the boxes are finished. Let's add some drain holes. I just grabbed a drill and poked a few holes in the bottom so that when we put dirt and then filled plants in these and watered them, they could drain and not get stagnant and have water standing in them. All right, let's hang these things up. For my yard, the best place was in the backyard so that we could see them very regularly out all of our back windows. We're kind of making a little spot that we're going to possibly put a fire pit or something down here in the corner down by the fence. So we just thought this was the logical spot. So I secured them to the fence with a few screws each and it should be more than plenty to hold what we're doing. Then we paid our first visit to a local greenhouse and picked out some pumpkins and gourds and flowers and all kinds of different stuff. You have what you want? Yes. Look at that oh, cool thing. Cool. I like it. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. It is I don't know why I like it so much. Oh, that one's cool. <laughs> like yeah. That's called a goonie. It was fun to take the family and pick out a few things. So then we grabbed some topsoil, headed back to the house, and we were rushing against the light to get these things filled and finished.
Well, that's really all there is to it. A very simple project. Thanks so much for checking this one out. I really like how these things turned out. We were able to mix in some of these kind of odd gourds and little baby pumpkins that we picked out. Uh, I have a bunch more videos on my channel, so definitely go check some of those out. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.